Hey, Clashes Melkor 6925 here, bringing you another episode. So what do I have for you today, guys? It's a six-star war attacks. That's right, in the last war, Melkor 6925 got six stars. I know, who would have thought it? Now, it has been a while since the last time I did that. Now, unfortunately, the Blood Crows did still manage to lose that war. And we lost that war, I'm afraid to say... 55 to 58 to T-Town. So what I'm just going to show you now is show you where we lost them stars and where we also picked up stars as well. Now as you can see our best attacks or our highest three star attacks were on both five and six which coincidentally for this war was me! <laughs> Who would have thought it? I must admit guys that's a very rare occurrence again it doesn't happen very often so I thought seeing as though it was such a rare occurrence I'm going to show you those attacks. This is the first attack on number 6 now as you can see if you look at the start time there 3 minutes exactly it took me to clear this base. Half a second later and it would have been 2 stars so what did I do? Firstly I sent in the balloon to lure out the Kang Clan castle and take out that archery tower. Then I started dropping the archer on the south side to lure over the clan castle because I wanted to take that dragon out ASAP. Now as you'll notice with this town hall 9 it's not very developed and there's no queen so that only played to my advantage. So as soon as the archers lured over that dragon I dropped the poison to take out the archers, dropped the king to distract the dragon, followed that up by the queen to take the dragon out. As soon as the dragon had been neutralised on the north side, I dropped the four Lava Hounds, followed by the Loons. Now, I should have spread those Lava Hounds out a bit more, and I didn't drop the Loons. Uh, I didn't spread the Loons out far enough either. So, unfortunately, as you can see in a minute, the clump pup going into the centre, which nearly cost me this war. Luckily, it didn't. <laughs> oh, sorry, nearly cost me this attack. But luckily it didn't. Now as you can see there's them hounds are starting to pop. I'm dropping in those rage spells. Trying to clear out as many of those air defences as I physically can. As quickly as I can. Not an easy task with them all being centralised like that. And obviously I'm taking out near enough all my loons. Luckily I had just enough time to get through them. Now all it is now it's just counting down the clock. To see if I had enough time to take out them last few defences. Now, unfortunately, as you can see, that last loon never took out that cannon. If I had have taken out that cannon, I'd have ended this battle with at least five, six seconds to spare. But now them last few loons have got to work their way up to that last cannon before then coming down to the archery arch tower at the bottom before going over to the other archery tower and the cannon at the other side. Like I said, that was all bad on me. If I'd have spread them loons out a bit better and actually sent them to individual targets like I should have done, then this would have been a comfortable three stars. Unfortunately, in the end, it went so close, I was absolutely pooping myself. I'm not joking as well. You should have seen me checking and then last seconds thinking, will them loons get to that last one there? Will they get there? Will they get there? And luckily they did, which you'll see soon enough. So, luckily, them pups are doing well and clear up, they're taking out the last few. As soon as that cannon goes down, the, uh, the loons can finally start working on the defences. Down goes the elixir, down goes the two structures in the far side, and do them loons have time to get over to that storage? Can they? Can they? Oh, we all know they do, but still it's intense. And they drop the bombs. Oh, we're less than half a second to go. Giving us three stars. Woohoo! Go Melkor 6925. Now, the second attack in the war was against Jorbout number 5. Now, this time, they does have Queen, but luckily for me, it's nice and exposed. So what I do again, I drop a loon at the top, or two loons at the top to take out the archery tower. Once that tower is down, they will then come inside, aiming for the mortar, which will lure out the clan castle. As soon as that clan castle is lured, what I then do is drop archers to the south side to lure them over there so I can take out the clan castle and the queen with my own royal troops as well. So as soon as they start heading over here, slowly, I drop the rest of the archers to keep them coming. Now as soon as they're nearly enraged, there goes my king to take out the queen, get enraged up, now the dragon's there, sending my queen, 
open up her ability, take out that dragon. Now, as soon as that started, again, in go the four hounds from the top, followed by the looms. Now, this time, I've spread them out slightly better. So, in the all come. Now, uh, there goes the first pup, first hound. And there goes the second. Now, as you can see, them loons now are starting to get into the centre, so we're taking out them crossbows, the last of the air defences. Now, as you can see, I saved the clan castle loons till the end, so I could rage them into the last air defence, which worked out quite nice. Now, all it is, it's just a matter of clean up. Is there enough time to get all them defences down? And to take everything out. Well, luckily, there's more than enough time. After we take down these two Teslas and that cannon, luckily for me, the loons split up. Two go into the top archery tower, and the last couple go into the right, the last archery tower, and the cannon. Meaning, on cleanup, my, my loons were spread out, and I've got more than enough pups left to help with the cleanup. Thankfully. <laughs> so, overall, it was quite an easy attack. Uh, six stars. For the first time in about three wars. So well done Melko6925. Unfortunately though like I said we still lost the war. But it was nice to get some solid attacks on the board. So I'm just going to speed that up for you now. Right guys that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you like what you see subscribe. Any suggestions for future videos. Comment below and let me know. And I'll see you next time.